Hello again, I'm Nick Wenham, producer and editor of Trailer Epics, introducing you to another really great selection of films for the summer. We really have some super titles this time, but first, a quick glance at the Video Week rental chart will show that the vast majority of titles featured on Trailer Epics appear at the top of the polls. Films like Never Say Never Again, Christine, Raiders of the Lost Ark and Airplane 2 are just a few of the many that are featured in the top 10. But now for my reviews on this, the sixth trailer epics to be produced. Tootsie is launched, a great movie starring Dustin Hoffman dressed in drag, which was nominated for 10 Academy Awards. A super comedy and a must for all video libraries, it's guaranteed to do well. A fine selection of display material will ensure that you will not be able to miss this one. From RCA Columbia Video, the film starts the beginning of their policy to bring out big movies shortly after theatrical release. Another major, namely Warner Home Video, who have operated this policy for a while now, announced the release of Sudden Impact, starring Clint, Make My Day, Eastwood, a surefire winner. The film will renew interest in all the previous Dirty Harry movies. From MGM UA, a double helping in the form of Celebrity. The two-tape set is engrossing a real mesmerizing spellbinder. It's one I particularly enjoyed. CBS Fox Video are pleased that they have finally been able to release the Rocky Horror Picture Show. This is the cult movie to end cult movies. Devotees can recite the script verbatim. Even when shown in the cinema, fans lit matches in a symbolic gesture. It's one of those rare films that will sell well as well as rent. Polygram have produced Running Brave. Highly topical in view of the popularity of the Olympics, it's a true story of hope and courage. Billy Mills, an American Indian, faced incredible odds to win the gold medal in the 10,000 meter race in 1964. Don't miss this one, you will cheer as I did when watching it. Entertainment in video release Hot Dog the Movie. No, it's not a film about a fast food chain, but gets its title from the group of nuts who did their utmost to kill themselves doing stunts on skis. Superb filming and a novel script ensure that this really is great entertainment. Finally, and unusually, I'd like to tell you about a music title. Normally, music titles only get an airing on our other video, Music Epics, but this one is different. From video form comes the ARMS supergroup Rock Gala. In aid of action research into multiple sclerosis, it features a stunning, never to be repeated lineup of stars, including Eric Clapton, Steve Winwood, Bill Wyman and Charlie Watts of the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page and Jeff Beck, Kenny Jones of The Who, Andy Fairweather Lowe, and many, many others, all of whom gave their services free. Video Form reputedly paid a six figure sum for the video rights, and this sum together with a further contribution being made from the sales of each video cassette will ensure superb support for this worthwhile charity. This is destined to become a classic rock. Great stuff. Play it all at full volume. Well, that rounds up the pick of the titles on this edition, once again sponsored by TDK, the great name in tape cassettes, and kindly distributed for us by Lightning, one of the country's leading wholesalers who also distribute music epics for us. Now finally, it's time to sit back and enjoy the trailers of a great batch of titles. And I'll see you at the end of the program. Capture those sporting moments on Super Avalon videotape from TDK. The great name in tape cassettes. Let me tell you about my client, Michael Dorsey. He was a fine actor, maybe a great actor, but for every role he wanted, there was a reason why he wasn't right. Sorry, you're too tall. I can be shorter. No, I can't use you. Too short. Oh, I can be taller. Too moody. Next. Too old. Too stubborn. You're too much trouble. Too tough. Too temperamental. Too pushy. Too difficult. Michael, no one will hire you. Just force me. <laughs> Boy, did he show us. 
he auditioned for the female lead on a soap opera and became the hottest new actress in America. And you know what? No one knows his new identity, not even the girl he's madly in love with. Soon everyone will know that she's Dustin Hoffman and he's Tootsie. Once upon a time, there was a boy who was fascinated by women. He loved everything about them. As years went by, he grew into a man, a man who loved women. A man who's looking for that special someone. The problem is, he sees something special in every woman he knows. He loves them all. I better leave before one of us gets pregnant. Run that fast. And that's gotten him into a lot of trouble. You gotta watch. Sorry. You gotta watch. Oh, watch. Yes. Second hand? Second, second hand, sure. We got 14 minutes. 14. But being this popular has some side effects. Oh, my God. He's depressed. Am I keeping you from something? He's mm -hmm. frantic. He's frazzled. What do you say? <laughs> Sister. He's distracted. Two, three. He's Here's obsessed. He's distressed. Listen, you are not dying. You're having an acute anxiety attack. He's frightened. We're going to do something different tonight. He's shaking. I'm shaking so bad, I feel like I'm in an earthquake. You are in an earthquake. <laughs> He's the man who loved women. Lulu! From Blake Edwards, the creator of Victor, Victoria, and Ted, <laughs> comes a touching comedy. <laughs> Burt Reynolds and Julie Andrews in The Man Who Loved Women. A simple love story about one man's pursuit of a meaningful relationship with half the human race. Hi, I'm Sue, the babysitter. The Man Who Loved Women. It's the Beanie and Cecil Show. Come go sailing, we waited long enough. For Beanie and Cecil to son is John and Captain Huff and Huff. Ah! <laughs> it's time for adventure. Oh, folks, some fun. Oh, joy. Ah! With Cecil the sea six sea serpent and good old Beanie. Boy, 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 boy. You. Join us for fun with Beanie and... Lovable, gullible, harmless, harmless, ten foot tall and wet. Cecil the sea six sea serpent created by Bob Clement. Come on, I see. So come on, kids, let's flip our lids. I am the moon, cause I'll be Beanie Cecil. Your very own. Love the cartoon. got a telegram and it just said he is coming the hell is he i don't know sir some men change their times my name is gandhi mohandas k gandhi one man changed the world for all time well whoever you are we don't want you here i suggest you get back on that train before it leaves they seem to want me columbia pictures presents a world event a richard attenborough film gandhi 100,000 Englishmen simply cannot control 350 million Indians if those Indians refuse to cooperate. The story of one man whose voice spoke out for millions. To gain independence, we must prove worthy of it. From his humble beginnings. You're an ambitious man, Mr. Gandhi. I hope not. To his ultimate triumph. He was the conscience of all mankind. Where there's injustice, I've always believed in fighting. His torment ended a nation's suffering. I will fast as a penance for my part in arousing such emotions, and I will not stop until they stop. 
his greatest weapon was peace. In this cause, I too am prepared to die. There is no cause for which I am prepared to kill. I want to document coldly, rationally, what is being done here. It is my duty to sentence you to six years in prison. Since your arrest, the riots have hardly stopped. If we obtain our freedom by murder and bloodshed, I want no part of it. But do you really believe you could use non-violence against someone like Hitler? What you cannot do is accept injustice from Hitler or anyone. Gandhi. They're calling you Mahatma. Great soul. Starring Martin Sheen, Sir John Gielgud, Edward Fox, Ian Charlson, Candace Bergen, Trevor Howard, John Mills, Rohini Hatangadi, and introducing Ben Kingsley as Mohandas Gandhi. I am a Muslim, and a Hindu, and a Christian, and a Jew, and so are all of you. Men honored him. Women loved him. An empire feared him. A nation worshipped him. Long live Mahatma Gandhi! Long live Mahatma Gandhi! Gandhi, his triumph changed the world forever. as a quest. You must find the shard. The crystal shard. The crystal shard? To save our world, Gilding. A wonderful fantasy adventure. Journey into a mystical realm of sights and sounds. Enter the world of the Dark Crystal. What's it for? Is that what you want to know? You want to know what this is all about? Is that it, Gelflu? Now from directors Jim Henson and Frank Oz and Gary Kurtz, the producer of Star Wars, comes a new dimension of fantasy and adventure. to another world, another time, in the age of wonder. The Dark Crystal. All right, a little closer together. Come on, smile. That's it. Hold it. It is terrific. Wow. Columbia Pictures presents Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep in Kramer vs. Kramer. I just gotta call the office before they go. Joe, you're gonna be real proud of me. I'm leaving you. Was oh, this some kind of joke? Did you know that all the best chefs are men? You got some shell. Uh, it's all right. You like your French toast crunchy, don't you? <laughs> no, mommy always buys the kind with the orange circles on it. I want my son. You can't have him. What makes you so sure he doesn't want me? Wait. I'm not that late to him. Only 20 minutes. All the other mothers were there before you. It will never happen again, okay? I'm not saying he doesn't need his father, but I really believe he needs me more. I'm his mother. <gasps> my wife says that she loves Billy, and I believe she does. But I'd like to know what law is it that says that a woman is a better parent simply by virtue of her sex. 
How's it feel? Good. Okay, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. That's terrific. I love you, Billy. Oh, that's terrific. How do you feel? Good. Yes. You look great. Kramer versus Kramer. November 1941. It's a time when Hitler is making impossible demands upon his U-boat crews. Demands which will lead to the needless deaths of countless German sailors. For the 40,000 men who serve aboard Hitler's U-boats, less than a fourth will return. Columbia Pictures presents The Boat. The story of 42 raw recruits caught up in a war they didn't understand, and the captain who must lead them in their struggle to survive. All set? Master. He alone knows the insanity of the voyage that awaits his men. So Hitler Youth Leader might put a record on for us? The Tipperary song, if you have no objections. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary. One short little Tommy record won't change you into the King of England. A voyage that will soon turn into a nightmare. Right through there. That's where we have to go. The strait is seven miles from coast to coast. Here are the British dockyards. A place will be crawling with patrol boats. Anything that floats will be on the water. We'll run in under cover of darkness. On the surface. see if he can slip through their cordon. On land, they dream of being heroes. Hold the head, boss! Keep on fire! Beneath the sea, they pray to be survivors. The boat. The other side of World War II. Come in where there's music. Come in where there's laughter. Come in and share the warmth, spaghetti and wine. Oh, you know, I forgot what this is like. Getting away from you people is the best thing that ever happened to me. I mean, how much sex, fun, friendship can one man take? I know that Richard will always be faithful to me. That's nice. A little trust. Fear of herpes. There is a little-known condition that affects all our lives. Symptoms range from lack of coordination to lack of direction to unusually mature behavior. Tell us about big-time journalism. Uh, well, where I work, we have only one editorial rule. You can't write anything longer than the average person can read during the average craft. My clients were the scum of the earth, really extreme repulsivos. Well, who do you think your clients were going to be, grumpy and sneezy? Check your temperature. The ground is ready. I just need someone to plant the seed. Yeah, but who's going to be the lucky farmer? What? You want me to do what? I can always be counted on to do the right thing. It's a disgusting curse. If you feel any of these symptoms, it's about everything, uh, uh, suicide. Alex and I made love the night before he died. It was fantastic. Despair. You don't know anything about me. For 15 years, you've acted like I'm the one you really wanted. You made sure that everybody knew it. Uh, where did our hope go? Or lost hope. That's it, lost hope. It was easy back then. No one ever had a cushier birth than we did. It's not surprising our friendship could survive that. It's only out here in the world that it gets tough. You may have contracted the big chill. I know, but I'm telling you, I think I've got something good right here. I haven't met that many happy people in my life. How do they act? I know you want to leave me, but I refuse to let 
let you go The new stars of the 80s in a comedy for all times. Tom Berenger, Glenn Close, Jeff Goldblum, William Hurt, Kevin Klein, Mary Kay Place, Meg Tilly, Joe Beth Williams, Lawrence Kasdan's The Big Chill. In a cold world, you need your friends to keep you warm.
tell. This whole thing must seem kind of strange to you, huh? You realize that I can't see you, even though you can see me. Well, that takes a little getting used to. If, um, there's anything you want to talk about, I'll just listen, all right? Behind a single tear, I love you, lies mystery. My husband is the other side of that door. Intensity. My life is in your hands. The depths of human experience. Jimmy. I was best man at your wedding. My husband's best man. Your best friend's best man. No. Your best man. A Sam Spiegel production of Harold Pinter's compelling drama, Betrayal. really wrong, you see. Emma and I are very good together. I think the world of her. The principles of truth. She's all right. Yes. The sanctity of friendship. I've always liked Harry. To be honest, I've always liked him rather more than I've liked you. The boundaries of faith. I couldn't bear to be without you. About to be shattered. Who's that on the telephone? By a secret which was never to be revealed. I've been trying to remember when I introduced him to you. Can you remember? We're lovers. Ah, yes, I thought it might be something like that, something along those lines. In every life, for every love, with every trust, there is the risk of betrayal. Jeremy Irons, Ben Kingsley, Patricia Hodge, Betrayal. Everybody's heard the old joke, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, man, practice. You notice that most of the women who are against abortion are women that you wouldn't want to in the first place. <laughs> Evening, my name is George Carlin, and I am a professional comedian, as opposed to the kind you run into at work all day long. <laughs> but I would like to bring you up to date uh, on the Comedian's Health Sweepstakes. As it stands right now, I lead Richard Pryor in heart attacks two to one. <laughs> However, Richard still leads me, one to nothing, on burning yourself up. <laughs> well, the way it happened was, first Richard had a heart attack, then I had a heart attack, then Richard burned himself up, then I said, F that, I'm gonna have another heart attack. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is some of the news. The U.S. Army announced today that it was true that during the first part of the 1960s they had performed LSD tests on human beings which destroyed their minds. However, they have claimed that none of the victims has been promoted beyond the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. <laughs> A man who was attempting to walk around the world drowned today. <laughs> Sometime I was trying to get a list of words together that would fairly represent the dirty words, because nobody gives you a list of dirty words in life. Have you noticed that?
On October 14, 1964, he stunned the world by running the most sensational race in Olympic history. It's not too late for you. You still got a chance. They said it couldn't be done. An Olympic runner doesn't decide when he can run and when he can't. He runs all the time. They said he was a quitter. What happens to these Indian boys? They are gifted, natural runners, but they have no discipline. Hey! Except to the team and the tribe. For all the reasons, there was no chance. Does it have anything to do with you being uh, Indian? I'm half white also. I don't know which half loses. Here's the story of Billy Mills, a 26-year-old who raced in the Olympics running in borrowed shoes. Billy, they won't allow Indians in the fraternity. Did you tell him? Yes. My father didn't say anything. He just left the room. What'd your mother do? Hang herself from the chandelier? Oh, Billy, stop it. He ran for his people. He ran for his country. He ran for himself. I want you to be a winner. What does that mean? I don't know what that means anymore. There's the bell for the final lap. Mills is pushed into the third lane as Clark attempts to pass. Here on the outside, here comes Billy Mills. He's like a man with that. Billy Mills! It wasn't how Billy Mills finished. It was where he started that made him a champion. Robbie Benson is Billy Mills, running brave. They don't understand what you're doing. So do you understand what I'm doing? In 1980, Terry Fox, a young athlete, decided to run across Canada. He called it his marathon of hope. But for a boy with only one leg, it was a marathon of courage. I'm not saying he's gonna make it, and I'm not saying that he ain't gonna make it. It doesn't really matter. What matters is, he's make a lot of people feel happy. This is a true story of triumph and anger. What do they want from me, blood? Love and the test of understanding. Rick, I need you. It's about fear. <laughs> and what happens if I don't finish this run? <sighs> what do you mean by that? I'm not the bionic man. It's about Terry Fox, who proved to the world every one of us can have the heart of a champion. His story is about people reaching out and reaching back. We're running for my chef. He's at home with cancer. It's the most unexpected motion picture you will ever experience. And that makes it all the more touching. Starring Robert Duvall. I mean, I understand this. I love you. Christopher Makepeace. Hey, everybody under sheets and blankets. Terry Fox is here on Marathon of Hope. And Eric Fryer as Terry Fox. People say I have courage. I'm not just the only one. The story of Terry Fox, who had the heart of a champion. And half his journey was still ahead. Dirty Harry is at it again in Sudden Impact. What you doing, you pinky sucker? You boys put those guns down. Say what? We're not just going to let you walk out of here. Who is we, sucker? Smith, Wesson, and me. Go ahead. Make my day. Go ahead, make my day.
Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry, Sudden Impact. When the editor of Playboy told me I'd won Playmate of the Year, the first thing out of my mouth was, are you sure? <laughs> I have this feeling about Dorothy. She's going to be a big star. Together, we could be somebody. People treat us that special way, the way they treat stars. 36, 24, 36. Dorothy is every man's fantasy. Oh, Mr. Hefner, thank you. <laughs> Something else is going on here, I can feel it. Yeah, you really need me, just reach out and touch me. Playboy is a very special magazine, Dorothy. They're going to give me $10,000 for having my picture taken. They're all nice to you. Everybody is wonderful. Mr. Hefner is wonderful. Damn, I wish he wouldn't call me here. Go out and get yourself a job, get something going, and try to make her proud of you. And he stayed the same. I think it's important that an actress and her director should have a good relationship. You know? This is a little rough. Are you sure you want to hear it? We have some things we should talk about. About a divorce, is that what you mean? I want more freedom. She's going to come back, I know it. He still had some crazy idea. He could put it all back together again. Please come back to me. I want it to be over. Shut up! Dorothy, you just can't let him do this to you. You can have her, but you're going to have to pay. How do you load it? You put it in the chamber. She broke my heart. And you cock it, and she's ready to go. Meet Jeannie, Annie, Madge, and Deirdre. Not exactly the girls next door. Baby, not from you, slime. Oh. <laughs> they move to a beat all their own. Watch them move, watch them shake it. They're foxes. They're looking good like foxes should. They dare to do what others dream of. Moving out, buying a place of our own. Oh, you know, it's not just for you. My mother would love it. You look like kids, but you don't act like them. You're short 40-year-olds and you're tough ones. Run too fast, fly too high, run too fast. You forget your mom, you know, when you go out in the world, it gets scary sometimes. Learn to laugh a little. I don't like your friends, Jeannie. I never like my friends. I'm in love with you. Do you really love me? Let's go, that's Annie. How is she? She's loaded. If you're gonna stay with me, you gotta go by the rules, and the rules are we're gonna get through the high school, we're gonna pay back, Jane. And I'm not coming back for you every time you throw it. Jody Foster, Scott Bale, Sally Kellerman, Randy Quaid. They dare to do what others dream of. They're foxes. Get Proclo. Get Proclo, Papa. Kill him. Kill the Papa, he's my husband. Get Proclo. Gaetano Proclo needs a place to hide out, so he checks in for a night at the Ritz, and that's when the funny season begins. We're three caballeros, three gay caballeros, they say we are birds of a feather. You mean to tell me that everybody here is, uh, has, um... Happy amigos, no matter where he goes, the one, two, or three goes, we're all... You really think I'm crazy, but my brother-in-law is planning to kill me. Have you picked a gay bass to hide out in? We're three happy chappies with snappy serappies. I'm gonna find you, it's the last thing I do! We're happy 
are going out of town. Just use your best judgment. You know we trust you. You got the place all to yourself? <laughs> A good time, Joe. In the privacy of your own home. Just take those old records off the shelf. That's her. She's fantastic. Yeah. I said listen to them by myself. Did you have a good time last night? I had a great time. Dave music ain't got the same song. You ever get high, Joel? Don't let me do anything stupid. Don't worry. I like that old time of rock and roll. Who's the U-boat commander? Don't try to take me to a disco. I don't remember giving permission for a party, Joel. A party? I still like that old time of rock and roll. I've got a trig midterm tomorrow, and I'm being chased by Guido, the killer pimp. Doesn't anyone want to accomplish anything, or do we just want to make money? Make money. Make a lot of money. There's a time for playing it safe. And a time for risky business. In 1886, following a shipwreck off the west coast of Africa, an infant child became part of a family of apes who raised and protected him. As he grew, he learned the laws of the jungle and eventually claimed the title Lord of the Apes. You have another family when you have never seen. My son has returned from Africa. I don't think that you have fully grasped what he really is. He is the Earl of Greystoke. He is what the jungle has made him. <laughs> now, Hugh Hudson, the director of Academy Award winner Chariots of Fire, brings the authentic Tarzan legend to the screen. Greystoke, the legend of Tarzan, Lord of the Apes. Legend of Tarzan, Lord of the Apes. A story which captures at last the savage nobility and noble savagery of man's nature. Half of me is the of Greystoke. The other half is wild. It started as a class project. And we have a few minutes left, so is there anything anyone would like to talk about? Yes, Julie. What do you know about the supernatural? The assignment? To gather earth, fire, and wind. We feel a presence here. Mix them together carefully. Let's get out of here. 
and you've got a living nightmare. I found something, and it's, it's strange, and it's powerful, and it's real. You can't run from it. You can't hide from it. You can't destroy it. Pray for them. They have unleashed the power. Give it to me! It makes your nightmares become reality. The power. I know it's not certain. I'm more than aware. And I'm taking a chance. This is Tim, a likable young man, but he has a few problems facing up to real life. I'm out of work. What's more important than that? You've been fired again? No. I, I resigned. Tim, it's all very well telling strangers these stories, but you must tell us the truth. I know you. What's your name? Rocky. Hold it, children. Hold it. I have big news. Due to my efforts, a big-time criminal has been caught, the man who stole the Portslade Hall Rembrandt. Oh, dear God. Tim, I believe the two people should be honest with each other if they're going to have any kind of a relationship. Absolutely right. So I want to be up front with you. Oh, with a dress like that, you've got no choice. <laughs> a guy I've been interested in for a long time came round to see me, and we drove down to Brighton for the day. Oh, he's, he's got a car, has he? Oh, yes. And it all sort of happened. <laughs> Fantastic. Leon. Oh? I'm sorry. I just don't see what washing the car has got to do with learning the antique business. You're a nice boy, but where do you get a car like this? Oh, you buy it. I just heard some incredible news. Mm -hmm. A Rembrandt's gone missing from Port Slade Hall. A and you bought it? I hope Lipton doesn't come back and find me here. I told you I was out of town for the night. Are you waiting for something? I understand you were involved with a Port Slave Rembrandt robbery. Not me, Squire. Listen, Kate. I've stopped all that. I've changed. Then show me your ticket to New York. No. I wanted you to believe me. Has Tim stopped all that? Is he going to New York? And what was his involvement with the man who stole the Rembrandt? Find the answers to these and many other questions in the new comedy, Real Life. Have you ever met someone who you knew from the start Would be somebody special, an affair of the heart And it makes me uneasy every time we're apart So nothing can stop me now And it's gonna be so good Gonna be so good He is looking for a challenger. Someone whose powers are as great as his own. And he has chosen Paul Bradford, a wizard of the computer age. Why did this happen to me? How did I fall for a guy whose first love is a machine? You don't understand. What I've developed with Cal, it, it's what gives me an edge. Every time I think about that experiment you were involved in and how you're able to link up, You are a word.
worthy opponent for Mestima. I don't believe this. I need a rat why am I here? <laughs> Paul must face the seven challenges of Mistima, who has the power to conjure monsters, nightmares, and unspeakable evil to life. Gwen! Always with Gwen as the bait. is his reunion with Gwen. Hey, what are you doing? But for them, the nightmare is only beginning. The game is over. Steamer. Steamer! Rage War, the challenges of Excalibrate. Whatever happened to truth, justice, and the American way? Tucker knows. He knows it's all part of the act. And he knows the players. A convict. I never killed anybody. You manipulated union funds, Harry. A union boss. How'd you guys arrive at that particular figure? For a relatively small sum, you're solving all your problems. The president. See what they're doing to me? This might be construed as a form of uh, blackmail by that greaseball and the competition. What would you like? Surprise me. The fate of America rides on a deal that turns politics into a circus act. If I start, you'll see the biggest wildcat strike in history. And I want him to uh, make a contribution of $1 million. Two million. If they can't hold on to their wallets, if they're careless, that's not our problem. It's an act of faith and deception. You've been a one-man show all your life, and if you die, that show's over. You owe it to your dreams to stay alive, Harry. Love and betrayal. I miss you, too. Sometimes I wonder. How can you say that? Honor and disgrace. That's the business deal between two presidents, huh? It's all business, Frankie. Nothing's personal. It's all part of the act, but Tucker's not playing around. He plays for keeps. I read the fine print. I check the precedents. I even eat crap if I have to, because if I didn't, you heroes would flush this country down the toilet. Robert Ginty, Sarah Langenfeld, Eddie Albert, James Andronica, David Huddleston, and Jill St. John, the act. Why do you do it? I love the action. The act. From Film Ventures International. From the depths of the earth, through the shrouded mist, it is coming, the final phase of an accident of nature. Nothing human can have this in its veins and live. It is unexplainable, unbelievable, and uncontrollable. You can't see it in the darkness, or hear it in the silence but you can feel its presence and sense the danger. Ah. Mutant. Don't go out there. Its time has come. Me. Me. Mutant. Any one of us could be one of them. There is no place left to run. Nowhere left to hide. And there is no escape. 
We're gonna get out of here, you understand me? We're gonna get out. No! Mankind's deadliest threat would not come from the skies. Mutant. They're fast. They're fun-loving. Out of the way! They're fearless. They're nuts. Catching it? By day, they're the finest hot-dogging, freestyle skiers in the world. By night, they really take chances. You busy for dinner? Now that's a girl I can take advantage of. This is the motion picture comedy that's proud to go downhill fast. The movie that defies the forces of gravity. Sanity. And good taste. Hot Dog, the movie. Experience all the ducking, flipping, turning, chugging, jumping, sliding, gliding, speeding action you can take. And that's just in the hot tub. Oh, boy. Gasp at stunts. Only a team of world-class madmen would dare to attempt. The dreaded Chinese downhill. And the greatest challenge of all, Playboy's Playmate of the Year, Shannon Tweed. Thank you. It's the fastest, hottest, feet in the air, head in the hot tub comedy of the long, cold winter. So grab your poles and kiss your buns goodbye. It's Hot Dog, the movie. On every college campus, there's always a guy like Pondo. You never forget him, but you wish you could. Who's he? You don't want to know. Pondo, I'm not that kind of a girl. Yes, you are. Oh, I'm a virgin. Get used to it. He did everything wrong. Seduction is an art. I'll take off mine if you take off yours. You, Pondo, you wage war, you understand? Mm -hmm. The guy just had no style. And you're disgusting and you're gross. Can I call you tomorrow? He was so desperate, he tried everything. Chip, help you? <laughs> Women hate me. Atmosphere, Pondo, set the stage. He got into drugs. Suicide. More drugs. And when that didn't help, he tried fashion. I am not an animal. Bullshit! That's an animal! Honda was such a jerk, such a loser. There was only one way he'd ever get a girl. I'll show myself up tonight! And his life changed a little. He became the original party animal. I'm a party animal! I'm a party animal! But then his problems really began. I'm like King Midas. Everything I touch turns to Poon Jay. And when things get out of control, there's only one way to save a party animal. Party animal! In a time of great warriors, a man of great passion risked his life for the woman he loved. Pleasure, Midsummer. Now, 
more than 400 years later, he has been revived into a world he cannot understand. Into a time where few can understand him. Yoshi something. That must be his name. Yoshi. No one's going to hurt you. major proportions. We have to find Yoshi. Forget it. Let the police handle it. He's got to find him. He can't survive out there. I hope the hell that he doesn't. Watch oh, him. Come on. Or hero, man. What the hell is that? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hey, Harris, get a load of this. Some nut dressed like a samurai. Just chopped up three guys on South and Third. You gotta be kidding me. strangers he has found one friend but even she may not be able to save him International presents Sword Kill. For him, time is running out. The Rocky Horror Picture Show is one of the outstanding successes of our time. A fabulously freaky trip to the world of rock and roll horror. Come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. Brad and Janet, two teenage innocents, become the unwilling guests of Professor Frankenfurter's crazy castle in this action-packed slug of singing, dancing, sex, and laughter. in with a bad crowd, but it was worse than I imagined. They were young, they were sweet, but they didn't stay that way. Hollywood's hottest new discovery, Tom Cruise, stars in a powerful new film about trying to be somebody in all the right moves. In a hostile industrial town of Northern America, he tries to break away from a bleak future in the steel mills. Now you know what they call us. You know why they only gave us 500 tickets to this game? For the Dagos, we're the Polacks, we're the niggers! And that's what we are together, and that's how we're going to win this game. We're going to win it together! How are we going to do it? Together! How are we going to do it? Together! How are we going to do it? Together! An athletic scholarship is his only escape route, but the way is far from easy. It cost us a game. You quit. You quit on me and you quit this team. Mrs. Alvucci, he didn't quit. None of us quit. What did you say? We didn't quit. You quit. You get the hell out of here right now. What? You get out of here right now. You're through. You're off the team. Steph struggled to get away. His love for a local girl and the animosity of his coach mean he really has to make all the right moves. Motel will give you the kind of sleepless night you wish you had more of. 
Why did we come here in the first place? Hmm? Was it for some tender female companionship? Possibly some intellectual stimulation. 34. B. C. Perhaps even a long-term, one-on-one relationship. You set one foot out of that bed and our relationship is over. Or did we come here to get laid? Everyone has their own special reasons for coming here, and none of them are wasting any time. Some things can't be explained with the inadequacies of simple speech. It goes far deeper than that. This motel is not just a place to lay your head. Getting Out Alive is the extraordinary and nerve-wracking story of a stuntman with a strange compulsion. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to see, Shirk, the great escape artist, perform here tonight in his most spectacular escape to date. He pushes himself to overcome increasingly more impossible odds each time he performs. You know, I really don't know why he keeps doing this stuff. And I sure don't know why all these people keep coming back to watch this damn dog and pony act. I'll tell you why. Half these people here, they want to see him get killed. Eventually, what begins as a publicity stunt becomes an obsessive need to confront and overcome death itself. La Balance is a sharp and gritty slice of underworld life in Paris. Surprise, you scumbag! From the mean and sordid back streets, this is a hard-edged story of violence and corruption in which the cops don't always win. When a well-known supergrass is finally silenced, there's nothing left to stop the French Mafia from taking their bloody business onto the streets. The cops have to find another informer, and they know Papers. where to go. Police. Papers. Your papers, please. But taming this streetwise pimp is a completely different matter. The search for Natas is a search for evil, as Steve and his friends find out in Natas, The Reflection. Natas is the force which controls the evil ways of the ghost town, a trap which few survive. Oh, Natas, the reflection of evil. Winner of the 1981 Golden Halo Award, White Tiger is the true story of how team spirit can overcome racial conflict. I mean, we know why you're here. Do you know why you're here? But you here, the school qualifies for federal funds. That's the only reason why you were recruited. When Jim Gregory became the first white man on an all-black football team, he had to prove that he was twice as tough as they were. I just have a few questions. It'll only take a second. I got nothing to say. Our quarterback was hurt, and then we lost. Yeah, man, why don't you just tell them that we Gremlin ain't never lost his first two games before? Not until you got here. Jim's savage determination finally wins him the title of the White Tiger. It's rough, it's tough, it's poetry in motion.
Kitco takes a hilarious swing at the great American ideals of free enterprise and initiative. When a group of kids decide to make some serious pocket money, they stumble on a nearby sunken treasure and propose a little deal that the golf club can't refuse. Official contract between Kidco, Dickey Cessna President, and San Diego Country Estates. This contract cannot be canceled unless Kidco screws up. That's your safety clause. Wow. With ingenious business know-how, Kidco starts to build an empire and show the world that it's never too early to make a killing. Jenkins, get security over here. Security's taken care of. And now for a walk on the wild side. Going Down is the story of a group of friends who fall apart during one long night of hard drugs and hard rock. Okay, let's go. <laughs> The low life can be very hard to leave, especially when no one wants you to go. No one's gonna hold my hand where I'm going. It's my plan. You know, I know what I want. I'm gonna get it. Going down is a remarkable journey. Bringing together an electrifying cast with Jacqueline Besser, Terence Stamp and Maximilian Schell, together is the steamy account of what happens to a couple over a long weekend when both partners try to assert their independence. Separated for only a few hours, they fall eagerly for the charms of others, submerging themselves in a total sensual freedom they thought they'd lost. Until, in the end, they must face their own failures once again. The Lost Empire is a blistering, action-packed adventure story that will keep you on the edge of your seat. A beautiful undercover police agent avenging the death of her brother finds herself entering a bizarre and deadly world where bloodthirsty games, sorcery and super science conspire to dominate the world. This is the very heart of evil. Beautiful women, relentless action, and dazzling special effects in The Lost Empire, a major new release for September. Go for the name you know. Movies in a Box from CBS Fox. is part of a boxer, falls in love with a dance hall girl. Mayor Redding, Stephen Blake, and of course. Scene eight, take two. Marker. Nice 
this girl. Could be. But don't be too cautious. Hey, you were good. She is so beautiful. Don't sleep where you eat, kid. We could become like Bogart and Bacall, like Tracy and Hepburn. You and me. We have rapport. You behave in yourself. He's a very dangerous man. Stanley, this is life I'm talking about! He's putting one of his damn goons on the set! What about the kid? What about him? I wish this picture would never end. I wish you'd stay with me tonight. Maybe he's watching you. A story of broken hearts and Hollywood dreams. Stranger's Kiss, a silver screen romance. has one special dream. For most of us, it remains distant and unfulfilled. She dreamed of winning. She wanted to go where only a few men had ventured. Some made it, and some didn't. You have rules against a woman driving? The last thing they're looking for is a driver who's a housewife from Schenectady with a kid. Maybe they just want somebody who wins. She challenged them all in the fastest and most powerful sport on earth. You're gonna go up against Garlitz? I'm gonna win. Well, I'm just looking forward to little lady showing her nerves when it really counts. I don't think she can handle it. A 2,500 horsepower machine swept her from zero to 250 miles per hour in less than six seconds. And she became one of the most extraordinary champions of our time. The Shirley Muldowney story. like a wheel. He was no ordinary man. He was trained to be the best killing machine. But something is about to change his life forever. Wife and unborn child are gone forever as the killers go free. Killing machine. It's got to be a Spaniard. Get him! Get him! Pushed him over the edge. Now he's pushing back with a vengeance. Stay out of it. It's none of our business. I haven't worked for the organization in a long time. I'll call and ask them to send someone else. You'll do just fine. <laughs> I don't like this. It's completely against our organization policy in France. I think. Let me give you some advice. Don't think. Margot Hemingway is Jacqueline's secret agent. I want to take care of him personally. Lee Van Cleef is Jalot, criminal mastermind. Nobody ever puts their hands on me. Nobody. Killing machine. Willie Ames is Tony, partner in revenge. Richard Jekyll is Martin, who started it all. 
and paid the price. I'm gonna kill you, Peacock. You George Rivero as Killing Machine, the ultimate instrument of revenge. Killing Machine. When you have been warned, you must listen. film release. Gregorio Cortez. A simple man. Claro. A family man. <laughs> and an innocent man. Forced to run for his life through the misunderstanding of a single word. Ask him if he's uh, traded him a horse lately. For 11 days. They ain't gonna tell you nothing. He was the most infamous man in America. He drew a gun, shot our beloved sheriff, Dick Glover. 600 men pursued him. Posse of Rangers. From across the state of Texas. He rode in circles. He rode in figures of eight, eluding the law. And I'm sure laughing all the way. I don't want nobody warning him that we're coming. I want every damn Mexican on the train arrested, and we're going to do the same when we get into town. Could it have been one of your own men? There you go, boys. Pass it around. <laughs> Could it have been one of your own men? That's possible. He was the object of awe. I want fires lit at 20-foot intervals, burning all night long. We'll go in after him at first light in the morning. Deceit. I like to propose a toast. <laughs> I'll drink out of that. Gregorio Cortez. Uh, who extended the life of the Texas Rangers. Uh, and hatred. All for one word spoken in a language America did not understand. So it was a... It was a matter of misunderstanding. In a country where all men are created equal. We, the jury, finally defended guilty of murder without malice. And says 50 years confinement where they have inalienable rights. And I can speak for all of us. To life. All we want is that damn greaser. Donde fue Cortez? Do it in house. Liberty. He ain't gonna tell us nothing. And the pursuit of happiness. It is time to restore the good name of Gregorio Cortez. 
true story of justice and courage. The Ballad of Gregorio Cortez. Three men. They are famous. They are powerful. They are rich. Women want them. They have everything. But if one of them talks, they could lose it all. Claver Cantrell is a top writer, reaching for more. What do you think he'll do if you don't get to where you want to go? I haven't even considered not getting there. But he's haunted by what he saw one night long ago. Mac Crawford's a Hollywood superstar, hailed by all. Worshipped by women. You're just so beautiful. Scarred forever by one dark night long ago. T.J. Luther, the leader of millions, rich and powerful beyond imagination, a self-proclaimed messiah, the chosen, to his followers. But he's lived his life on the edge since that night long ago. Three young men with a dream, each destined to make it to the top. Three celebrities who will never escape the one night when a lost girl changed their lives forever. You don't by any chance have a bite to eat to young about star. Won't you boys go to the kitchen, rustle up some aids for this poor famished child? What Kleber and Mac witnessed was so shocking it became the devastating secret that could destroy them. They vowed silence, but that night still possesses them, even years later. As their lives take different paths to fame, they are all driven by ambition and insatiable desires. I'll try anything once. They all know shattering truths. <laughs> and when these three friends finally reunite, their past sins ignite a fatal confrontation. You filthy! No! One kills, one dies, and only one will survive when the truth finally explodes. James Whitmore, Karen Austin, Hal Holbrook, Dinah Manoff, Ned Beatty, Tess Harper, Jennifer Warren, Debbie Allen, Michael Beck, Ben Masters, Joseph Bottoms, Power, Passion, Glory, Murder, all in the first degree, Celebrity. Okay, this is about career day. The idea is goals. What do you want to be? What do you hope to get out of life? His name is Johnny Rourke. And hey, whatever happened to you, Rourke? You used to be normal. I grew out of it. He knows only one way to live. I better start living up to that potential. His own way. Reckless. Her name is Tracy. She's got everything she needs. It's got my name on it. But girls like Tracy never tell their parents about guys like Rourke. You want to go for a ride? Where to? I don't know. Around? You want me? You are making me crazy. I want you. We gotta get out of this town as far as we can get. They both want only one thing in life. More. Tracy, come on! Are you with me or not? Reckless. September releases from BBC Video. Spectacular titles with great support material and wide press coverage. Faulty Towers, the very best of BBC comedy. Rock with laughter at Basil and Manuel. Six of the 12 stories on two cassettes. Bookings taken now. A BBC video original, fully supported by Woman's Own, The Green Goddess from BBC TV's Breakfast Time shows you how to have fun getting fit. More comedy with two classics from Mike Lee. Abigail's party affects her mum and friends in a most peculiar way. And Nuts in May, the hilarious story of a camping holiday in Dorset. Two nature lovers find performance as Beverly in Abigail's party. 
Sue takes refuge with Beverly while daughter... Two great comedies from Mike Lee, the modern master of improvised award-winning drama. And now, a first from BBC Video, an original production starring Diana Moran, the green goddess of BBC TV's Breakfast Time. One of the things that I like best about keeping fit is that you can exercise just about anywhere, even in the garden if the weather's permitting. But it's so easy to exercise in your own home. In this video cassette, Get Fit with the Green Goddess, there's a 20-minute routine. Don't bend forward, and don't bend back. Exercise is for just about everyone. And easy ideas for sensible eating. So, come and join me. Feel better, eat well, and get fit with the Green Goddess. Great value from BBC Video. Faulty Towers, denied to millions of fans for over three years, is open for business once again. Basil Faulty, after a severe knock on the head, tries to entertain the Germans. Is there something wrong? Will you stop talking about the war? Me? You started it? We did not start it. Yes, you did. You invaded Poland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a change. You'll like this one. There's this woman, she's completely stupid. She'd never remember anything. And her husband's in a bomber over oh, Berlin. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah, yeah. She'll love this one. She'll leave, love it. Leave her alone. No, this is a street. I mean, I've never seen anyone not laugh at this. Oh, Look, she'll love it. She's German. No, Mr. Bob. What? Do Jimmy Cagney instead. What? Jimmy Cagney. Jimmy Cagney? You no, know, yo, Daddy Ray. I can't do Jimmy Cagney. Please try. I'm going to go. Shut up. Here, yeah, what? Who's this then? Stop you! No, 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 no. I'll do that for anymore. Oh. <laughs> In the hotel inspector, Basil deals with a difficult guest. All I wanted was a cheese salad. It yes. wasn't as though I'd ordered an thank elephant you, tea or a bun, was it? You, I mean, the whole thing is... Yes. It's ridiculous. Well, I'm glad we've I'm seen for a man who's supposed to be running a hotel. <laughs> Your behaviour! <laughs> Your behaviour is totally incredible! <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else at all? Oh, God, yes. I'm going cheese. Let me stop it. I'm going It's all right. He's only two dead wrong. Don't worry. A bit of cheese went the wrong way. A touch of class, a lord no less, and an obsequious Basil welcomes the aristocracy to Forty Towers. <laughs> ah, Lord Melbury, do please uh, come this way, Your Lordship. I have your table over here by the window, as usual. <laughs> Just here. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For simultaneous release, 40 Towers, The Psychiatrist, and two more episodes from 40 Towers. Manuel is left in charge when the builders arrive. Uh, hello, 40 Towers, how are you? It's a nice day. Oh, you again? No, I say he's not here. He's not here? Very, very sorry. Goodbye. Come, come, wicked. Hey, you men know what to do? Oh, I think so. This is the uh, dining room. You are certain you know? It looks pretty straightforward. We just got to block this one off. Men? Yes, men are here. Uh, men are work. You work, men. Yes. <laughs> which? Uh, ah, yes. Man with beard. Uh, please, which one is man with beard? Eh, uh, uh, si, si. Hid. Ag. Uh, ang, ang. Si, si, comprendo. Si, uh, si. One moment, please. Um, you are a hideous orangutan. <laughs> yeah! Well, thank you very much. Mistaken identities cause chaos at Forty Towers. There's a burglar downstairs. George got back, did he? There's a burglar downstairs. What? A burglar, quick!
a wedding. Two doctors register at Faulty Towers. Are you both in general practice? No, I'm a paediatrician. Feet. Children. <laughs> Well, children have feet, don't they? That's how they move around, my dear. You must take a look next time. It's most interesting. And, uh, and you, Doctor, are you, um... I'm a psychiatrist. Very nice, too. Well, cheers. <laughs> I'll get you another one. Sorry. <laughs> a psychiatrist? How fascinating. Basil immediately becomes a case. Just, just take it easy, okay? What? Well, just keep your distance. I mean, remember who you are, all right? Remember who? Well, just don't tell him too much about yourself, all right? Is there a, a restaurant near here? Uh, well, there's an awfully good little uh, Welsh place, Leek House, about five minutes' walk. You'd have to go straight away. Oh, that'll do fine. Just turn left out of the gate and straight on, and it's on your right. <laughs> Basil gets more and more manic searching for mythical ladies. material there for an entire conference and finally he cracks completely <laughs> two rib cracking titles from BBC video there really is something for everyone with the five brand new titles on release this September from BBC Video. Was it for some tender female companionship? The clothes a person wears are not what's important. It's, it's what's underneath that counts. Possibly some intellectual stimulation. 34. B. <laughs> C. Perhaps even a long-term, one-on-one relationship. You set one foot out of that bed and our relationship is over. Or did we come here to get laid? All sorts of people come to the motel for all sorts of reasons. And they get to know each other in all sorts of ways. Some things can't be explained with the inadequacies of simple speech. It goes far deeper than that. Check in for the night tonight. But don't expect any sleep. Hold still, Jeannie. When Jeannie Gunn fell in love and got married, little did she know what she was getting herself into. Do we have to go so far? She followed her husband across an entire continent. Faced being the only civilized woman in an uncivilized land. We of the Never Never, nominated for six Australian Academy Awards, including Best Film, Best Actress. I don't want to be shut out in this. Those men haven't wanted me here from the beginning. I've tried to be They're friendly. They're wary of you because you're a stranger. Because I'm a woman. And Best Cinematography. A classic book that is destined to become a classic motion picture. Jeannie, get on your horse, get on your horse! We of the Never Never is the timeless story of a 20th century woman trapped in the 19th century. It will make you laugh. Is that better? Finish. 
make you cry. If you believe that, you will die. And make you feel the joy and determination of the human spirit. Put that down. You put it down. It will show you how one woman reached out in a hard, hostile, prejudiced world. Look, Midget. That's my woman. Gives you no right to be. No right. Do you hear me? And manage to find love. God, I love you. We of the Never Never, a story of personal triumph. How old are you, Bill? 33, 46, 58. I'm a real spring chicken. Mickey Rooney gives the performance of his career as Bill on his own. Set free after 44 years in an institution, he now had one ambition. I have to learn to be a regular good man and try. That's the rule, to try. Three, two. Through his job making coffee at the local college canteen, Bill also made a friend. No, no, don't go. Oh. Just stay there. Right. You want a cup of coffee? No, thanks. I just change for the milk machine. My, I'm Bill. Hi. Bill. Bill is my name. Here, you, you, you do it. You go do that. Thank you. That's all right. Could I ask you something? Sure. You don't even know me. Why did you let me go in your cash register? Because I can't do it. Right. His disarming honesty made people want to care for him. If I gave you one, two apples, and then I gave you one, two more, Bill, how many apples would you have? Six, eight, twelve. No, Bill, look at them. You're not looking. Think hard. Just look right... Look right at the apples and tell me, how many are there? Oh, I'd eat all those apples because I like them. There wouldn't be none. Bill, I am not kidding. With Jenny's help, Bill began to spread his wings. Sarah, this is your brother, Bill. I'm still in the coffee business. And to build a life in the community. Thank you, everybody, for coming, coming here to see what I learned. I can read the Bible, talk to our Lord, and make me a regular good man. Jenny was also learning, though it wasn't until problems arose that she realized just how much. How did I do on my report? Not so good. Oh. Oh, I guess I'm just crack-minded old man. After all that time that you and I spent together, we never accomplished a thing. We got to be friends, didn't we? I want to know is what are you going to do about that coffee shop? Now, wait a minute. You had your opportunity to... No, I haven't. I told you why we'd like to keep it. But now I've got to tell you why you have to. I came here because this was supposed to be a good school, and it is. But you've got one teacher here who isn't listed in any catalog, who doesn't teach a course, and best of all, he doesn't grade you. You grade yourself. His name is Bill. Jenny, you got to do your best. That's a rule. This true story of simple courage and determination will touch your heart. That's a rule. We've got a weird alien invader. They jammed our defense system. That means they killed our backup systems, too. Even if Senator Neptune sends help, it'll never get here in time. We'll have to take evasive action.
start your hearts. We lost them. Oh, lost me. Some cake, said Mr. Bailey. Thank you, so kind. Mr. Tickle offered her two glasses of lemonade in, in a roundabout <laughs> sort of way. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mischief uh, made her jump with a noisy party squeaker. <laughs> <laughs> and she Sorry. dropped her lemonade Dear. all over oh. Mr. Small. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you're, uh, you're all wet. Oh, no, 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 don't mention it. Don't, don't mention it. Mr. Dizzy gave her a lovely party hat and oh. Mr. Shy began feel better. Mm -hmm. Everybody talked to her and everybody was very nice. And yeah. gradually, the longer the party lasted, mm -hmm. bit by bit, yes. yes, little by little, I didn't. eventually, uh. guess what happened? She stopped blushing mm -hmm. and she actually started enjoying herself. <laughs> Sadie was amazed. But how did you dare go near a lion? She gasped. Oh, there's nothing to it. Come and see, said Towser. You needn't be afraid, he said, as he helped Sadie up the rocks. This time, Towser jumped down right onto the lion, picked it up by the tail, and played with it. <laughs> then he bounced back up the rocks. All the way home, Sadie gazed at Towser as if he was Superman. I still can't believe the way you treated that lion, said Sadie. Ah, uh, said Tarza. Lions are nothing. Come on, I'll show you again. September 1983 at the Royal Albert Hall London, a legendary lineup of rock superstars assembled for a very special and historic concert. I'll let Ronnie Lane explain. My, my imagination is pretty potent, but I didn't imagine anything like this. The response to Glyn Jones's appeal on my behalf was, was amazing. It's almost like they was all waiting in the woodwork, you know, for an excuse to come out and do such a thing. I'm not so sure that's not true. Eric Clapton. Winwood.
Jeff Beck. Jimmy Page. I've, I've done sessions with Jeff. I've done sessions with Jimmy. I think just Eric. Uh, Jimmy, I, I've never, except for the Yardbirds, the early days. I think the thing with uh, Jeff and Jimmy and me, I suppose, is something that everyone wants to see because we've never actually been on stage together. As well as those who have been featured, the ensemble also includes Ray Cooper, James Hooker, Andy Fairweather Lowe, Kenny Jones, Tony Hymas, Simon Phillips, Chris Stainton. Charlie Watts and Bill Wyman. This classic includes many artists who have never appeared on music video. In superb stereo sound, mixed and produced by Glyn Johns, it's available to you in two parts. Part one featuring Eric Clapton, Andy Fairweather Lowe and Steve Winwood. Part two featuring Jeff Beck, Jimmy Page, The Ensemble and Ronnie Lane. The Ronnie Lane Concert for Arms. Women, the Mafia, the Mercenaries, Jungle Warriors, seven world-famous models in a paradise gone to hell. Suddenly, they are captives in a jungle empire, witnesses to the most illegal deal of the decade. Their jailer, a madman named Caesar, his sister, an angel of death. But when they break out, their vengeance will be yours. Jungle Warriors, Nina Van Vallant, Paul Smith, John Vernon, Marjo Gortner, Woody Strode, Alex Cord, and Sybil Danning as Angel. The odds are incredible. The enemy is unstoppable, and escape seems impossible. I'm going. But that's how they earn the name, Jungle Warriors. Hey, here we are! Jungle Warriors, the most savage adventure anyone ever lived or survived. Lonely and desperate, Lynn is searching for her sister Carol. They meet, and Lynn is slowly seduced into Carol's lifestyle. A lifestyle that rents companionship for $25 an hour. Hi, Lynn. Hi. Welcome to Romance Central, where the Jane Does meet the John Does.
Leave right away? No, huh? Is the heart okay? Well, it's not much. A hundred and fifty. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Sam's been a big help to me in Washington. I told him, two hundred, okay? Well, that's just great. My kid sister goes out hooking and turns over my guy. Thank you for calling Encounter Escort Service. For the moment, all our young women have been spoken for. Not exactly a great life I've gotten you into, is it? Love for rent. last night and forced me. Please. According to the sheriff, that's not what happened at all. He says you encouraged him to come into your cell, that you offered yourselves to him if he dropped the other charge. What other charge? Prostitution. Thirty days in the Batham County Prison Farm for women. What? <laughs> Kathy and Diane, two Californian college girls on a vacation trip across the USA, commit a misdemeanor. Through a terrifying series of events, it escalates into a prison nightmare that only one of them will survive. The prison guards are they? Guards, they ain't no guards here. They're trustees. You mean they're prisoners? That's right. It's the trustees that run this place. Shit. Please, ma'am. I won't do it again. After this, you won't, you dumb bitch. The strap ain't nothing, baby. People die in here. End of the line, Emery. Come on out. There's not much choice but to find ways to be sure that you do listen in the future. The superintendent sent for her last night. You mean he killed her? No. She, she cut her own wrist. This story, based on fact, is a horrifying indictment of a brutal system of justice. So you think they know we're gone yet? I don't know. They know. They know. Give them another sniff of those clothes. Come here. There you go. 30 days in the Batham County Prison Farm for Women. Nightmare. Homeward Bound is the story of me, Jake Seaton, my father, Harry, and my son, Bobby, a young boy who is the victim of cancer. Our story is not about death. Rather, it is the story of Bobby's commitment to life and the lives of those who love him. This story is dedicated to those children and their families who courageously confront this situation every day. Why me? Why do I have to die? I don't want to die. Oh, Bobby. Why can't you talk to me? Believe in reincarnation. I'm not sure. Do you? I want to believe. What would you like to come back as? Do you really love me? 
like to come back as me. You and your God deserve each other. Now you watch your mouth. You're two of a kind. You're mean and you're spiteful. You expect the whole world to bow down and worship you, but you don't do a damn thing to deserve it. How's your mom? She's okay, I guess. She's been upset about me. She cries a lot. One second I'm talking about lunch, trying to decide between tuna fish and peanut butter. Next second she's crying like crazy. He's dying. Dying. It's impossible. What the hell can a 14-year-old boy die from? If I could, I'd give you my eyes. My heart. I know. If I could, I'd switch places with you. I swear to God. I know. I love you. I love you. Get you, Kathy. Never used to seem like such a long time. Obsessed and ravished by satanic passion. Daniela is alone. Her life is tormented by fantasies that she cannot control. Fantasies that are devastating her mind. I knew. Died pleasure. It was wonderful. Remarkable. The scar could leave a light abrasion. It is remarkable, gentlemen. And yet I assure you that less than 24 hours ago, her hands and her feet were perforated by gaping holes. The girl must be cured. We must try exorcism. He is the man that can unlock her demonic torment, but at what cost? <laughs> Penetrate me. Penetrate my soul. Take me anywhere you like, or let me do the taking. Harrowing and disturbing. This film is based on events that really did happen. Daniela was obsessed. In Russia, a land of mystery. In Moscow, a city of secrecy. There was one place of peace and safety. A place where an American has been murdered. A place called Gorky Park. Bodies carved up in the middle of Moscow. Who knows where it could lead? The answers lie somewhere between what is said. It is more than possible that KGB killed those three people. And what is done. I didn't kill him. It doesn't make any difference who pull the trigger, but you're the one that's going to pay for it. Between what is known I have established that you knew all three of them. But what are we talking about? Dead bodies in Gorky Park. And what is hidden? Either you are with them, in which case it doesn't matter where I run. You'll be trapped here. They saw me last night. Between those who enforce the law. I'm saving a life. Whose? Mine. And those who are above it. Corruption is part of us. The very heart of us. Between the lies that are told. Irina, I love you. I've learned to trust. Nothing. And the truth that lies buried in Gorky Park. Now, from the spellbinding international bestseller, comes an electrifying motion picture. I've been dealing the whole time, so now they'll deal with me. He doesn't know who to trust. 
please. You don't want this case. Where to turn? I have to have a witness. Someone must tell me. Orion Pictures presents William Hurt, Lee Marvin, Joanna Pakula, Brian Dennehy, Gorky Park. Remember your last day as brigands. Right, hold it, hold it. Turkey, 1923. It was seething with revolution, rebels, and revenge. I am the Abdi Aga. <laughs> Peter Ustinov, Herbert Lom. There's one more chance. Come on. Mehmed, my hawk. I have found a girl. Hands off her, Mehmet, or I'll have to hide off your back. When I find you, I'll kill you like a pig. Seize him! Surrender, Mehmet! There's a price of 5,000 lira on your head. You're a blunt man, Abdiaga, aren't you? I therefore commit the prisoner to trial to await the due process of the law. We can win battles against our enemies. We can never win against brigands. And that is the reason why the amnesty, please sit down, is so essential. It's a trap! A trap! And that is how Turkey perpetuates its brigands! Did you know that in the rest of the world, this is known as Turkish delight? No. We are in the presence of the only Turkish delight that I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a film about lost love. Your wife-to-be has just eloped. It's a film about defiance. What are you doing? It's a mutiny. Our eyes are fixed on the same target. We go by different roads. It's a film about friendship. I'm counting on you, you old... Old wizard. Mehmed is an exceptional man. Mehmed, my hawk. A Peter Ustinov film based on the epic novel by Yasha Kemal. The D is for too much The D is for dynamic and The K is for kaleidoscope of sounds The A is for amazing The D is simply dynamite That's TDKA, do my friend It's such a magic sound it's true what people say T-D-K-A-D has so much individuality Now you must admit that's a great selection of titles The reference I made incidentally at the beginning about music epics may confuse a few of you Music Epics, again sponsored by TDK and distributed by Lightning, is an epic to end epics. It features trailers of just about every music video out, and it's a must. It's now available predominantly from record shops, but some video dealers do have it, so check it out with them. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.